Howdy 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 my gorgeous Aquarius, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Velka and today I am going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading Aquarius for July 2022. Alright, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today Aquarius, go on ahead and just hit that like and subscribe button honey. Alright, it's completely free to do. Alright, and it uh, helps out this tarot reading channel a lot darling. Join the family, why not? Alright, be sure as well Aquarius to check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific darling. Alright, that's how you make these YouTube general tarot readings work out the best for your zodiac sign is by catering more of the tarot reading energy to your entire chart not just one specific sign so let's just jump right into this here darling aquarius all right we're getting the blessing from tulip on the side of the window here let's get into this i'm going to be doing three rows for you aquarius firstly getting into your career all right and then into your social life platonic or romantic something in the work or family darling and then afterwards we're going to be doing some general predictions for you aquarius okay so we're going to cover each one first and then we'll get into more detail after the fact how's that sound aquarius so let's just get right into this darling aquarius see what's going on for you firstly i like what i'm seeing here first and foremost can i just say aquarius i like this energy a lot uh what i see for your career here we have the four of pentacles with the king of pentacles as well and then the justice energy here all right so in regards to your career aquarius it's like the month of july for you is like the hard work paying off that's what i feel like is the main message coming in here darling is like hard work paying off for you aquarius so it's like when i see this king of pentacles you guys have been putting in the work to build something great here it's like you guys have been making the sacrifices that you've been needing to make right to make an ultimate dream work i'm really speaking towards those that are trying to get out of like financial debt and i'm also speaking to those that are have been working really hard on uh obtaining a certain level of success or level of employment when it comes to the career trying to just fight up in the ranks here right it hasn't come easy for you aquarius that i can gather with this here um it's been feeling as if you've been pouring water into a bucket with holes in it right where it's just as if like you feel as if all the hard work all the energy that you've been putting into situations it just hasn't made sense for you aquarius right where you're just looking at the results you're just like man like why am i not getting better results with what it is that i'm doing right like Let's just use some analogies to uh, make it so it's easier to understand the message right maybe perhaps you're a content creator right and you're putting out your content and you're getting only a couple of views right and you're just sitting there just like well the content itself is good like why isn't it getting better results you put out your business like i feel as if you're coming out your july for you aquarius is going to be a month of where like all this pent-up energy that you have been building whether that because i see for many of you guys you've been trying to have this come into fruition in more than just one way i feel like you guys Aquarius have been magically right trying to manifest whether it's intention journal journaling vision board or what have you you guys have been doing everything that you have that has been in your toolbox to bring forth manifestations and finally in July you're going to be having a very positive harvest all right so I'm really excited for y'all in that way now in regards to your social life here Aquarius we got two tens here Ten of Wands with the Pentacles as well, and then the Seven of Cups coming in here. <clears throat> All right. So I feel as if for you, Aquarius, you might be noticing during the month that you're going to be kind of, I feel like you're kind of just drained, uh, Aquarius, when it comes to trying to make certain relationships work out in your life. It feels as if for you in July, like you just got to this point where you're just exhausted, right? And you're considering other options, right? You're looking at your social circle and you're just like, what is it that I'm investing into? Am I actually getting the stability that I want here? I get for some of you Aquariuses, some of you may have been moving or been having this strong desire to move as well, Aquarius, due to like, you know, maybe it's like, this is like a situation where it's just like a roommate right where the roommate's paying half the bills but then there's just like something about them with that ten of wands that's just like ugh. like you want to start considering other options here all right what i want to be telling you aquarius is that this is a month for you to not be settling all right you're getting this push from spirit darling whatever or tarot cards wherever you see this message coming through as darling you're getting this push to no longer be settling just because there's a relationship in your life that logistically it makes sense right it pays half the rent you can live in that place whatever right but i feel like you guys are getting to a breaking point aquarius where it's time for you to start considering other options right you can still have a roommate right to pay half the rent but do you need to have that same roommate you can have you can have close friends you can have a romantic relationship but do you need all the baggage that you're 
currently having with those relationships in your life currently just because like you know it's one of those things being like uh, you know you realize just like there has to be an easier way to do the same thing right you can, there has to be an easier way to live in a house and share rent with somebody without it being insufferable there has to be a way to be able to have family that you can trust there has to be a way when it comes to romantic relationships that feels better for you that provides more stability where it's not everything's just up in the air right where someone can actually show you commitment right and then in your row for general predictions darling aquarius we have the three of pentacles the strength energy with the six of cups coming in here <clears throat> all right this is interesting i feel like for some of you aquariuses during the month of july you're going to be noticing um just a lot of situations in your life that you have a long-standing history with with that strength card coming in here i feel as if you guys are going to overcome the complications right whether it comes to like your personal relationships uh when it comes to uh yeah there's something that you just like a lot of things that you have like put your roots into aquarius that i feel like in july you're going to be overcoming but it's not without its own work all right it's not without its own work there's a blessing from miss tulip honey <laughs> if y'all saw her in the corner of the window there so yeah i feel like for the month for uh, july for you guys is for you aquarius because you're getting two different tens coming in here right off the bat talking about the closures and then the ten of wands in the center of this energy here so what i feel for you guys is july the month of where you're addressing the baggage right where you are no longer interested in continuing continuing on in this journey with carrying so much dead weight here right that's what i get for you july is going to be a month of where you're letting go of the dead weight aquarius and then what comes in after the fact right because remember uh aquarius we have this uh, justice justice energy here i wanted to say aquarius energy this is actually libra's energy um you have this justice energy where things are coming into balance for you so it's just like what needs to to balance the scales more so the spirit can put more on their side for you when it comes to opportunities when it comes to reaping a harvest ask yourself a question aquarius of like what old things or what things have you continued on with what habits what people um what projects that you have been maintaining or continuing just because you have a history with them just because it's it's comfortable in the sense that it's familiar but it's like spirit sitting there your spiritual team is sitting there aquarius and they're just like darling like you realize you could go like travel like twice the speed right now if you were to let go of those certain things right just because it's familiar to you doesn't mean it's good for you darling all right now's the time for you to be releasing some of that stuff so spirit can put on some new energy on top of that darling all right aquarius so let's firstly start clarifying this justice king of pentacles with the four of pentacles energy for your career aquarius let's see what more juice we can get out of that for july I mean, I, I wish I said it, but, you know, I said the term earlier, Aquarius, where it's just like y'all are using all the tools in your toolbox. If you'll remember, you can go back. And that's the epitome of what the magician is, Aquarius. All right. That was the first card that we pulled for you is the magician card. All right. I want you I really want to feed into the specific message for some Aquarius is out here who have been really just putting in the work here. All right. Hierophant energy with the seven of swords or not the seven of swords sterling the five of swords as well i want to put out this message here of where it's just like i feel like some aquarius is really internalizing things too much here because it's like you're using all the tools in your toolbox and i can acknowledge how demoralizing that feels right where it's just like you're doing everything that you can to get to, to that financial abundance right that those keywords honey abundance and financial right manifesting this stuff for you here and because nothing has come into fruition yet for you darling aquarius you're starting to internalize it and that's just something i really want to told, tell you guys to stop on all right it's like you guys are feeding continuing continually feeding energy aquarius into like a big ball of energy that's just like once it like implodes darling it's like nothing but blessings on you but it's just like i keep on seeing like the sense of like you're feeding a bunch of energy into a situation into like this um into this harvest and it's like there's like an energetic blockage energetic dam that's stopping it from like fully uh coming into force here that i feel as if um is happening due to the fact of those certain things that you guys have been keeping along in your life that you probably needed to put the closure on put the um 
uh, gravestone on a while ago right with those two tens talking about closures to cycles for you now what i want to be focusing in on the most here is this hierophant energy for you with this magician all right Aquarius because these two cards here pair so beautifully with each other what you are manifesting and what will be coming to you all right but you need to make July the day the month of where you're just get ridding yourself of um energies that you haven't been that haven't been serving you right I feel like you need to make more time for things that actually garner results for you Aquarius but also not giving up on it all right um with this magician and hierophant energy what it is that you're building into the and what it is that you're feeding energy into with this hierophant energy you are going to be learning so much during this process before it comes into full fruition here right so i'll just use like youtube as an analogy here if this was my story and i had aquarius in my chart i would see this and be like okay so this would be a situation where it's just like i'm not going to have a bunch of views on my youtube videos and um initially because there's so many steps that i want to learn when it comes to editing tarot and all that right but once i get my groove with tarot this hierophant energy uh whatever has been backed up for you energetically for your career once it comes into play you'll be fully formed like i would be fully formed as a tarot reader and then that's when the results would come in but there's still like this sense of like stuff that you need to learn during this journey or observe observe is a better word for this observe on this journey here aquarius before th before things come into full fruition for you but they absolutely will all right i acknowledge how demoralizing it might feel right now because certain things are just not being uh, uh manifesting for you and you're just like man am i doing something wrong here right it's not the case so let's take a look at now your social life remember we have that 10 of pentacles as well as wands with that seven of cups coming in there all right so clarifying your social life here we have the page of pentacles the page or yeah the page of pentacles king of cups and then the ten of swords darling all right this is the third ten that we got in your reading here aquarius for july we're only missing the ten of cups now honey okay so uh for you here aquarius in your social life you guys are closing out big chapters here all right i feel like you guys are closing out the chapter big chapters here with people certain people that you either have just outgrown or just like you are coming to terms with the fact Aquarius with a certain situation in your life socially well yes you have a history with them history with them it doesn't mean that they should you should continue creating history with them all right you know I feel like it's this sense where it's like it's time to bring in a breath of fresh air this new energy right this page of pentacles comes in at such a beautiful time because pages represents new energy on the contrast between the ten of pen uh, tens representing closures of energies right so you are having this new energy coming in here right but this new energy comes in like you are bringing forth new energy here that brings forth more emotional stability to you that's what i really feel the most with this aquarius is that you're going to start attracting relationships in your life only after you start letting go of those old history uh old relationships in your life um or putting to rest to them uh bringing forth more relationships that make you feel more emotionally fulfilled here much more mature relationships is what i'm getting with this all right much more uh, mature relationships aquarius so that's what i got on that and now darling aquarius let's take a look at your predictions for the month of july remember we have that six of cups three of pentacles and strength energy as i said beforehand aquarius this is really a month where it's, you're making the hard decisions when it comes to certain things that you have a history with in your life and be like all right maybe it's time to put this to rest here maybe it's time to let go of certain things here all right because there's just certain things in your life that you have been or it's like certain people you're just like mm, maybe i want to just check up on them see how they're doing right i feel like it's in that sense right where it's like certain relationships that you because i oh yeah the hermit card was in the back of the deck so yeah that's how it was it's like certain people that you um certain things that you have walked away from beforehand or distanced yourself from or just like that natural distance like you want to check it up up in on it and i feel like you need to let it go all right there's just like a, a lot of the sense like mentally i feel like or just like the emotional responsibility is what i hear like this emotional responsibility that you have towards certain situations just because of the nostalgia you're letting go of it here and then yes darling we have darling first and foremost the six of swords here right you're it's a bittersweet energy where it's just like eh, you wish that things could have played out differently but they are it is what it is right 
and then the seven of swords with the empress energy i don't know why i threw this card over here um here but that's the thing here aquarius you're growing the more that you it's like the more that you mature aquarius the more that you are able to put certain relationships in your life in perspective or just put things in perspective in general of what's happened to you and what is going to happen to you aquarius you're realizing that it's not as personal as it might feel all right you're realizing that it's time for you to welcome in more energy that you don't have to change chase people that it's just people that you naturally attract now right very much so that popular phrase where it's just like i don't chase i attract here all right i feel like you guys have some relationships or situations of where you would chase after them and it just is it just always led to disappointment here and so i feel like for the month of july for you your maturing comes in in the sense of where you see situations, you see relationships for how they are, and you don't take them personal anymore, all right? So that's what I got on that for you, Aquarius, all right, for the month of July through tarot. We're going to do some oracle cards, but hopefully this monthly tarot reading uh, gave you some clarity, Aquarius. This was such a joy to do, all right? Um, <laughs> so thank you for the opportunity. So the three moon oracle cards that we have for you, darling, is the first quarter moon, keep your heart open first quarter moon in libra darling all right keep your heart open you have the new moon in libra shine darling shine and then you have the full moon in aries cool your emotions here all right cooling your emotions here so here i feel like the main message here with the moon oracle cards is where it's just like you keep your you keep love into the situation you don't just because you're having to let go of certain situations that is that that where which is where that bittersweet energy is associated with that we just talked about aquarius just because you're having to walk away from those old situations that you have a lot of history with it may impact some of y'all's view on relationships when it comes to family friends person romance you know or friends you know whatever the case is for you but don't allow that to make you bitter, darling, all right? In fact, allow this to make you shine more because as I said, I feel like y'all's story right now is the sense of where it's just like, you don't chase, you attract currently. And so you keep things in perspective. You don't get overly emotional. You don't take things personal and you just continue shy shining because you know that you're going to be attracting your spiritual tribe that way, darling Aquarius. So that's the monthly tarot reading that I have for you, darling Aquarius. Thank you again, darling, for allowing me this opportunity. Remember, I do weekly tarot horoscope readings aquarius every single week darling so be sure to check those out for your zodiac sign for your sun moon rising in venus um be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this tarot reading today aquarius if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply valka dot com aquarius next to my social medias if you would like to connect with me on a more intimate level is tiktok and instagram and they're just simply velka same as here darling but until next time aquarius i love you so much darling and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling